I had a friend in middle school who would always tell stories. You could not tell if they were true or fake. So all of us kids just listened to Mike as he went on and on about his family life. Mike was the only child in his family. We just thought he was getting bored with his real life. So he had started to make up life events. But we always s knew he was okay. Mike's family wasn't rich nor poor. We were all aware of his mother sales real estate daily. But Mike would tell yous all the time. I am rich. When I turn 18. I will have lots of money. And then I will help someone. All of the guys in the neighborhood telling Mike. Boy you with all those stories every day. It would later on in life become true. Moke had mad it through middle school, then high school. And at the age of 18, his story was true. His grandfather had left him a million dollars. He would use to help the homeless. It became so funny. He would help anyone young at all. Most of the money went to the elderly. Mike would pay their back taxes on their homes they could not pay. He even purchased an old folks' home with another wealthy person. He left his younger friends begging. All they really wanted, he told his mother, was cars, houses. Some even wanted him to give them treats to a local casino. His answer was always no, I want help with that. He would even feed the homeless at Christmas time and purchase them coats and gloves. He said, he liked the looks on their faces. They were truly happy about simple stuff. Mike told his mother it tend to make him happy. Also, he did help his mother by reminding her that she too was already blessed and priced to remodel her house. And as she walked in, she was so surprised. Thus looks like a new house, son. Thank you. Thank you. I love you, son. Now I can live here for many more years to come. Mike, you're welcome, Mama. In had to do something for you too. You have always took good care of me. He also handed her money to put with her savings. She could not believe her eyes. Mother told Mike, I am so glad of what you are doing with this money. You have surprised me. Most kids waste money. But you have done a lot of good things. God is really going to bless you, son. Mike, I tried to do the right thing, Mama. It is what Grandpa would have wanted. He helped people, but it was also helping him. He had wisdom and used it wisely. He would empower other people. Then they would in return empower him. In like that, it's a win. Win. Mother, I know son you carry on. I Mike, I know even though don't have very many friends anymore. Now I feel like they were never friend s in the first place. All of them just wanted to go party and spend what belonged rightfully to me. That sad mama, so sad. But it'd give some of them jobs. Now they can make their own dreams come true. And those who said I was lying for so many years, they just look at me and keep walking. I just don't understand their method s. If I had a lot more money, I would do the same things all over again. That is really how you find out who is really your true friends. And I carry on each day. Just like nothing ever happened. Because I had many years to decide what I was going to do. I had patience with what I was going to do. And even had things written out how and when I was going to spend the money. Most people said I was lying, so why do they care anyway? Mib said I was making up stories just to express them. But you see now I'm just fine with that dot and what grandfather did helped me also dot because I will never have to look for a job dot I can just work with the elderly and have fun. And I did make a couple of investment with my inheritance. Now I can put back money for my children dot that was a lesson and learned a lot from dot peel have to always share, but share the right way dot so that it will come back to you on love dot it will make your heart feel good also. That's when it comes back to you. I do realize you don't need all the things in life you think you need to be happy in life. You only need good people around you to keep you grounded in life. It keeps positive things on your mind, instead of doing silly, meaningless things. And smart people will help you to achieve these things. And no matter how rich or poor you are as a child, people can overcome anything if they make good decisions. Having a lifelong smile on your face instead of a momentary one. Each day I awake, I thank God for waking me. I thank him for letting me smile. I thank him for my family. I honor the simple things in this world. The things some of us take for granted. Spending sprees only last for a while. Love, honor, and obey. Each and every move I make during the day, Mike said. I ask myself if this is the right thing to do. God always answers for me. I let go and let God. But never try to let impure thoughts enter my tongue or my mouth. Thank God for my hard times. Thank God for my good times. Hope my children can learn from me. Lend a hand when you can. And in return, the same will happen to you. Never just hold on to riches like some people do. Try and build something new. Something for others to use for years to come. Leave a good name for yourself. Mike's old friends really couldn't say anything bad about him. And back then, he was only a child himself. 
and Hito was looking for answers. His friends could only poke jokes back then. And now can only say we used to know him. Some in many years, still wanted to join him. Some he let in, some he did not. Moke had an impact on them all when he had just disappeared one day. When had become a man. He put his childish things in the past. Leaving most not knowing what to think. Some jealous, some hate, some silent, and some never spoke his name again. Either way, it was okay.